What is up, players? It's Warboss Tay up in this mug. Today we're taking a look at the Sentinel for the Astra Militarum. I'm actually looking at the frame that came in the Kadia Stands box set, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same frame. Not, it, whether or not you buy it in the Combat Patrol box, if you get one of these Kadia Stands boxes, or if you just buy it on its own. So let's take a look at the instructions for assembly first. We'll get the dessert out of the way. And uh, here you can see we've got two variants, the Scout Sentinel and the Armored Sentinel. Choose the variant you want to build. So you're going to start with the chicken legs, as always. And I like how you see the left side and the right side. They're separated by colors. Okay. That's interesting. Oh, okay. It looks like the Armored Sentinel has a little bit different armor on the legs. It's interesting. On the knee. Oh, no. It doesn't. Same thing. Oh, GW. Okay, then you've got uh, all of the glue points in the yellow. That's standard going. And uh, interesting. All the little pieces. So much fun. So much little armor pieces to paint. Oh. I actually like the idea of the Scout Sentinel for painting purposes. Paint a little pilot in there doing their thing. But I think for the... Uh, for the purposes of what I'm doing, I'm going to want to do an Armored Sentinel since I'm painting this up for the Summer Painting Challenge. I want there to be as, as little bit of work as possible so I can really hammer through. And uh, here's your Scout Sentinel all built up. You've got the weapons, see how they come into pieces, uh, which pieces are add-ons to the main guns. And then on this side, you can add on the optional Close Combat arm or the spotlight I like the spotlight the spotlight's always looked cool to me you can do a hunter killer missile boom and then put on some stowage i love stowage stowage is my favorite because then i my brain starts thinking about where else can i put these on tanks on chimeras a little extra las gun there i love seeing stowage on vehicles Fantastic. So that's the Scout Sentinel. Armored Sentinel looks like it's the same thing, but we're sealing them up. Good night, Gracie. There it is. The Armored Sentinel is just a Scout Sentinel. It's a little bit of extra plating on it. Okay, I think my build that I'm going to want to do is an Armored Sentinel. I, I want to recreate this. Armored Sentinel, Plasma, Light, and Hunter Killer Missile. I think if I wanted to go the extra mile, is camouflage netting still a thing? Because if it was, then I would love to add some camo netting from uh, AK Interactive. That stuff is so much fun to use, but I don't know where, where would I put that? Like across the front? I don't know. All right, let's take a look at the sprue. I always like to look at the heads first because even if you okay so say I'm, I'm doing the armored sentinel version right so that means i don't have to build up my pilot that means i'm gonna have these extra arms i don't know what i would use those for but uh more importantly i've got extra heads four extra heads if i use the scout sentinel i would only have three uh i love that you get extra this guy's wearing a strainer. I just used that to make mixed vegetables. I like this guy's little skull cap. Reminds me of who wore it in Fury? Was it Sheila Buff? Had the like leather or not the leather, but that cloth skull cap. Like this guy. Or girl, is that a girl? Can't tell. This looks like a a lady. With the cap. Alright, fantastic. And you've got the weapons, lots of extra weapon bits that you're going to have. I think these are all the legs, right? All oh, these f little fiddly bits. Gosh. I like how in the exhaust pipes now you see the inner working. So it's not just a casing, but you see the inside parts there. All right, so what I'm going to do is we're going to build this puppy up into an armored sentinel and then check out the uh, upcoming 
days of my 2023 summer painting challenge to see it all built up and um, ready for the battlefield. And I think I'm also going to do, you know, I think I'm going to do a tutorial on this miniature as well because today it's only May 11th. I've got the rest of the month to finish my um, Cadian stands painting challenge. So I'm, I'm going to have a, I'm going to have a fun time. Hey, if you guys are interested in joining the summer painting challenge, uh, I'm doing my challenge in May, June, July, and August. But if you are interested in joining up for one of those months, uh, you can do it for just 31 days out of the next four months. Just find something you want to paint. It doesn't have to be Warhammer 40k. It doesn't have to be uh, any kind of army. It could just be a single figure, a squad, or a piece of terrain, anything you want to do for the next 31 days, we're going to cut down your pile of potential. We're going to make a dent in that big pile of gray plastic unpainted miniatures. Sign up on the Discord. The link is down below in the description and uh, you can get to all of the fun craziness through there. And we've got a lot of great challengers and participants joining in this year. So uh, join them. Find 31 days that you want to get some work done and I will see you over there. Thanks for watching this unboxing review video of the Sentinel. See you in the next video. Hey, thanks to my sponsors, my patrons, Mr. Sprinkle, Pix, Dicey Guy, and Play It Painted. Thanks for supporting the studio. If you'd like to join them, then you can click the link down below to get to my Patreon. Uh, you can also check out some of the equipment that I'm suggesting for uh, new hobbyists and new YouTubers. Those links are in the description and those are affiliate links. So you would be supporting Warboss Taste Studios if you did decide to purchase any of those amazing items. And uh, stay tuned for more great videos. All right, thanks.